Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you here. Please be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any videos in the future. And please be sure to like this video if you find it helpful. Drop any comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you ASAP. Let's get started. Hello, thank you for being here. I'm Jenny and this is my Personal Rings Motorn Planner in taupe. This is my October 2023 flip. Let's get started. Okay, so at the front of my planner for the month of October, I have some freebies from Neverland Paper, freebie from an order I made with May Paper Co. This is from Laura Prince, and this is from I've got my weather stickers that I use daily on my daily spread from Daisy Papers. You can use code Jenny, that's J-E-N-N-I, 10 uh, to save on your order with Judy. Over at the other side, I've got a freebie from uh, High Paper and a freebie from Noted Co. This is a purchased item from Infinite Lotus. It's textured paper. These are also from Laura um, and some more from Laura on the back. In my flyleaf, I keep all of my most used Stickers, all of these are from Daisy Papers and the color that I love to use is nude. Everything, everything is nude. These are her new nano hearts that she made from my specific request. Um, and they fit perfectly with a little snip off the side into my personal rings flyleaf. Okay, now going through my sections, I've got a free printable from Rose and Mist. It's a quote from Harry Potter, um, and I have it printed on vellum, layered on top of another uh, freebie on vellum. This is from Laura as well. This is my routine title page. This comes from a bundle from Prints by Caitlin. She's available on Etsy. I also have this printed on vellum and I just love how they all layer together. This is my routine section. This is the routine bundle from Infinite Lotus. Um, this was something that Vivian and I had messaged about um, a while ago and she took my requests and I'm sure other people's requests too and came up with this amazing bundle. So all of the sections you're seeing right now are part of it. This is all fillable within the Adobe application. Um, if you're looking for how to do that, I shared, um, I shared that in my Instagram a while ago um, and it ends with the weekly routines and it's a four sheet. So. Um, one more week and then I'll put the fourth sheet in and that'll take me to the end of the year. Next, I have my daily routines insert in my daily routine section. This is a fillable insert. This is what I go to daily to make sure that I'm going through all of the sections in my planner and that I'm not forgetting anything. After that section, I have my um, quarterly section. I have um, just gonna slide this because the sun moved. I've got this printed on extra thick vellum. Um, this is an insert from Infinite Lotus again. And then this is the title page from that bundle I previously mentioned. Another beautiful freebie for autumn. There are so many out there. Um, I'll be sure to tag them in the comments. This is the full quarterly section. Each page has the three months for that quarter with a calendar, space for notes, and lots of room on the back for accomplishments, improvements, and notes. Um, following my quarterly section, I've got this insert is from Prince by Caitlin. It is a simple um, half year on each side sheet for 2024. So as I'm making appointments for myself 
or my family. Um, I can fill it in on the sheet and then when I get my uh, 2024 setup created, then I can transfer all of those dates in at that time. Next, I have my monthly section. It is a beautiful day here and I have the windows open. Um, so hopefully you don't mind all of the crows that are talking to us right now. Um, this is my monthly section uh, for October. So this is actually a freebie that you can get from Planner Rebel Co. Um, you can pay for the entire month and you can use code Jenny10, that's J-E-N-N-I-10 and save and get the entire 12 month section. Um, I just, I really love, I love it. I like to layer it. Um, and then this is the monthly spread that I really like to use. This is the month on four pages lined from Infinite Lotus. So it's got the title page on the front. It's got the two page spread for the month. Um, everything comes predated and each section is lined. I really like to um, use my micro icons that I have from uh, Daisy Papers because I just really like a quick visual look of, do I have something on that day? Um, and then I can go to my weekly for the next level of details in that. I love the fourth page. Um, here I have my monthly um, priority tasks for that month. Um, so here sometimes we get snow by the end of October. So I like to get the Christmas lights up before my fingers freeze I've got to wrap our cedars and buy a window kit and the uh, Stendig um, Calendar that I have in our living dining room. I always order the next one in October And then there's a section to list all of the important dates. So this is where I can reference um, any of these icons if I forget what is going on or what the time is. I list the details back here and here I just keep a, a running um, task list of anything that I need to remember. Next up I have November and it's the the same system so um, I really just found something that works for me and I really enjoy it. After that I have my weekly section. These are some smaller sized uh, post-it notes that I found at Omomo. I really find this size is perfect for a personal size ring. The normal three by three take up half of my page and when I just need a little note, um, this is really all I need and I love these colors. So that was at Omomo. Um, in my weekly section, uh, again this is a title page from Caitlin. This is just something that I made for myself. Um, another freebie from Laura and then I like to use um, or I'm, I'm using um, this weekly spread I believe it's the MN025 I will double check that um, it's a dated weekly um, and it comes with a title page this is a sticker from Judy again I just love her style um, and this is what um, the weekly spread looks like that I really, I just really love to use it. So it's got priorities, a to-do list on the bottom and um, plenty of room for a scheduled section and then just uh, notes at the top for specific things that might be happening that day. So that's the spread that I really like to use. Next up is my daily section. Um, this is it here. I don't recall the code for this one off the top of my head, but I will put that in the details. And for anything that you're seeing um, that you would like to potentially purchase for yourself, you can use Jenny8 um, to save at Infinite Lotus. Um, so with this, I love that it's dividable by month, so I can just have one month of dailies in here at a time. Um, and this is, this is what the spread looks like. So I really like it. I've got a spot to record my meals, track my water, a reminder to do something for self-care each day. I've got a nice big scheduled section for all of my scheduled activities throughout the day, a nice section for to-do lists um, that I add to as the day goes on. And then up here, I like to use this section for gratitude and a little spot um, to put the weather because as a teacher the weather really does affect my day and that's what these little icons at the front were for for those daily pages 
Next up, I have my work section. Um, so I like to keep my work schedule separate from my personal section. Um, I just like to keep those very separated. Um, so as a substitute teacher, where I work uh, changes every day. Um, and this is the same monthly spread, just with outlines. Um, so it's a month on four pages from Infinite Lotus. And so with this, because um, I'm using it for work, on that fourth page, I'm tracking um, where I've worked that month um, and which jobs I enjoyed the most. Um, and so I use the triangles from Judy to mark the days that I am working and I use the um, medium circles to mark off specific days that I'm unavailable either for the full day or uh, half the day. And then when there's a triangle or a circle, I know it's a holiday. So it's just kind of very visual for me. And then for the weekly spread, um, this is, you know, I forget the code that this one is, but I will put the details in, um, in the caption for you. Uh, it's a weekly grid and it is dated for 2023. Um, and then my next section that I have is my tracking section. So this has taken many forms throughout the year, but I've really settled into a group with it. Um, and I'm strictly using the habit tracker from Infinite Lotus and I'm using it in multiple ways. So this is just straight up habit tracking. But then I've got another flip side that I'm using to track my physical health. I'm using another one to track my mental health. I'm using it as a sleep tracker. So this is my total hours of sleep. And then these are my sleep times. So I'm getting over a cold right now. So I am <laughs> sleeping in and then tracking my exercise. So that is uh, one way that you can use one tracker for everything. I really like the simplicity of it. I've used trackers where it's been uh, vertical this way instead of horizontal and you've got to track across your rings. And I thought that I would like it, but once I lived it, it really didn't work for me. Um, I like it all on one page. So this is really working for me. So. You can always think outside of the box, think outside of the way that the inserts were intentionally made for you to use them. Um, my next section is my daily journal section. I do journal um, in uh, a notebook, but I like to do um, these, it's almost like a, it's like a structured, but not too structured uh, journaling insert. So I've got some freebie stickers in here from Neverland Paper. And then, um, so this is what the inserts look like. Um, so they have a little spot at the top for any events that are happening that day, space for an affirmation. I like to put a Bible quote here after I've done my Bible reading, um, a wellness section, and then just some thoughts. And I find this kind of a really good springboard to lodge into my uh, freeform journal. Um, and then I also like to work in the weekly review insert both of these are from infinite lotus um, so this is just a really good recap that i do every sunday of my week and it kind of gives you a refresh on everything that has happened because sometimes the weeks can kind of fly by and this kind of really gets you to focus on what happened what were the the good parts the not so great parts and where can i improve um, vivian actually has a fantastic monthly version of this at the end of one of her monthly inserts, but I'm hoping 2024 brings a monthly insert separate on its own so that we can all um, PDF print it into our journal section like I've done here. My next section is my cleaning section. Um, this is uh, a great insert, again, from Infinite Lotus. I really I really prefer Vivian's style. Her layouts are very clean. Her font is always very minimal and modern. And I really like to use micro icons to fill this out really quick instead of writing everything. So it's very visual. Um, emptying, loading the dishwasher, emptying the garbage and recycling, washing any hand-washed dishes, 
wiping down the bathroom daily, making the bed, and taking care of my kids' lunches. So those are my daily things. And then Monday, I need to take the bins out for bin day. Tuesday, I bring the bins in. Monday, I do laundry. Tuesday, I fold it. Wednesday, I'm taking care of my plants and vacuuming. Thursday is the dreaded bathroom day. <laughs> Friday, Friday, I wash sheets. Saturday, I vacuum again. And Sunday, I like to give the kitchen a really good clean down. So that's what those icons mean for me. And I just really like how visual it is. My next section in my planner, these are actually custom dividers that I ordered for my A5. Um, but I'm using them, I cut them down and re-punched them and I'm using them in my personal because I've, I transferred to my personal. These are custom made dividers from Infinite Lotus. I love them because of the material they are made out of. They are really, really thin, but they will not rip or tear. They have a really nice feel. They don't have a shine to them. I'm very photosensitive and I'm very prone to migraines from certain lights. So I really like how these have no glare uh, to them as well. So this is my list section. This is just something that I made myself. I just found some pumpkin pictures <laughs> on the internet and I printed it onto vellum just to add some color to my list section. Here I have my micro icon key in case I can't remember what something means. Um, some free inserts from Laura that I've printed on vellum. This is um, a seasonal list that I've made for myself, things that my family and I like to do. And then on the back I've got winter. Um, and this is a list of Christmas purchases. So this is a insert from a bundle from uh, Prince by Caitlin. It's the utility bundle and this is number five. There are eight inserts. Um, and I found this one was really great for keeping track of Christmas purchases because I like to start early um, and I'm sure you guys all do too because we're all the planning <laughs> type of person, right? Um, and then this is just an insert from Caitlin as well. It's meant to be like a daily thing, but I'm kind of using it as a weekly. So I highlight the week that it's for. Clearly this is old, um, but I just don't like to waste paper. So I've just left this here until I get all these things checked off. Um, I hole punched the other side so that I could have the side that I was on facing forward front. Just reduce reuse, right? Like let's make less waste. Um, and then this is my notes section. Again, this is a freebie from Laura, I believe. Um, <coughs> sorry, please excuse me. I'm just getting over a cold. Um, this is a dot grid insert from Caitlin. Um, it's really great for doodling, list writing. Then I have my social media section. Um, I used the month on one page with a list um, download from Prince by Caitlin for this. Um, so I just list um, what I'm gonna post that day and make sure that I do so. And then I'm using the utility number six for consistency. So um, I post my daily with music, I post in a reel, add to my highlight and an interactive story. So this is just to keep me um, consistent and so that I don't forget to do things in a day. Um, and then I started using this space here just to follow um, my following numbers and just watching that the consistency is actually reducing growth. So that's been really great. Um, and then I'm using utility number one just to write down ideas for, um, for, ideas for content. Um, next section I have is my budget section. This is another insert from Infinite Lotus. Um, oh, this is a great um, freebie from Laura. It's a things to budget for. Um, so this is, this is the weekly expenses insert. I find this is all I really need to keep track of. We have a lot of um, automated payments and it's like all of the unplanned things are the things where we lose track. So as they happen, I just record them in here um, and I can stay on top of them. This is also my wallet. So my wallet is in the back. So as I pull out my card to pay, I can quickly just write down whatever it was and total it at the end of the day and, and make sure that we're staying on track. 
um, at the back here, like I said, I have my wallet, I have my cash, I have my receipts. Um, I have some calendars back here. Um, I have different things for my girls in here. I've got their feet back here. So if I ever need to shoe shop for them and see if the, their little paper feet fit in the shoes. Um, and yeah, that is my planner for October. 2023. I hope you found some ideas of ways that you can get your planner to work harder for you because they need to serve us. So if your planner isn't serving you, then it's time to switch something up. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, please do leave them. I will respond. And thank you so much for being here. Happy planning.